Now salsa needs several things. For me, it's usually tomatoes, onions, garlic, and of course, chile. Some folks also like to add consumes and seasonings for that extra pop of flavor. But what about bone marrow? That's right, in this video, we're making a salsa tuetano. Marrow has a rich, silky texture and drops a bomb of umami flavor onto whatever you serve it with. In this case, a fire roasted salsa. We'll be cooking up five Roma tomatoes, about a quarter of a white onion, three serrano peppers, three garlic cloves, and we can't forget that fresh chopped cilantro and that squeeze of lime. Then we'll be rendering down some tuetano to add into our salsa, which we'll cook down and then Enjoy. Now, aside from being delicious, bone marrow packs vitamins, minerals, essential fatty acids, and hey, is this another health food recipe? <laughs> in the States, this ingredient has been picking up a lot of steam and popularity lately, but tuetano has long been enjoyed on steaks, tacos, and salsas, and with delicious Mexican recipes. So let's get fired up and cook up some salsa tuetano. Vámonos. We have four bones here split in half. The inside of the bones have the tuetano, the bone marrow. We're gonna take our Roma tomatoes and put them right over the fire here. I'm gonna get that on here, let that cook down a little bit too. I'm gonna take the stem off of the serrano peppers, get these up here. Ooh, yeah, baby. Garlics are really small, so I need to get those onto that little rack so they don't fall through. And for the bone marrow, I'm just gonna take a little salt, pepper, garlic and lay that on here. Should be just the right amount. We're gonna put these right over here. Pretty hot fire going there. Ooh, -wee. I think it's a little hotter on this side, so I think I'll put the garlics over here. All right, my friends, you can see where the bone marrow is starting to sizzle out of the bone. It's cooking. You can see where it's bubbling up here on top. A little bit of the moisture trying to come out through the top. Now you can see the serrano peppers are getting roasted. They're done on one side. So I'm gonna kind of move them over here a little bit further away from the fire. That fire's hot, man. I'm gonna raise the grate up a little bit higher. One of the cool things about this Lone Star Grills, Santa Maria style grill, if it's too hot, you can just bring it up a little bit higher. Let's go ahead and flip these uh, garlics over. They look like they're almost done too. I'm gonna go ahead and take these bone marrows and, and take another look at them. Look at that. Very, very nice. Good, they're coming along really nice. Really, really nice. I'm gonna flip these over and hope, I'm hoping just for a little bit and I hope the bone marrow doesn't drip out. I just wanna give it like a little cook there. Just wanna give them a little sear. All right, we got some arracheras, friends. Those are hanger steaks. We're also gonna make us some tacos with some arrachera and the tuetano salsa. It's gonna be epic. All right, flippity flip back in the other way. Ooh, look at that. I think I'll leave them just about one more minute. Man, they're looking good. Look at that, wow, beautiful. All right, we're gonna keep moving our tomatoes around. And uh, sometimes I like to stand them up like that so they cook from that side too. Reminds me of those alien pods. Maybe tomatoes are aliens. Wait a minute, this movement seems to have life. Organic life. Just kidding. I'm gonna put my serranos here inside the morcajete. Let them cool off a little bit. I'm gonna leave these garlics over here too. We're gonna start mashing those here in just a little bit. All right, friends, I think our tuetanos are pretty much done. I'm gonna take the one that looks like the smallest, put it right here. I'm gonna let that cool off for a little while and give it a taste. Now it is a tradition to eat tortillas with just tuetano, so I'm gonna put one right there on the fire. It should be good, good, good. All right, my friends, the uh, veggies are pretty much ready. I'm gonna let those cool off. In the meantime, I gotta try this tuetano on a tortilla. So I'm just gonna scoop some of this off. Ooh, look at that, super creamy. Oh man. I'm gonna shake a little salt on here, just a hair. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's good. Creamy, smooth, very beefy. Just like a beefy, beefy butter. Mmm, and that little shake saw just takes it up. Really, really good. These bones come uh, off of a little older animal. That's why they're a little bit bigger than the ones I've cooked in the past. It has an even beefier, delicious flavor. I can tell you guys, my, my abuela Lala, my grandmother on my mom's side, she used to always, when we'd make caldo de, de res, she always called the tuetano hers. Nobody could get the tuetano from my grandma, and she used to love that stuff. All right, friend, it's time to make our salsa. I'm gonna start by mashing up our garlic and our serrano peppers. Well, we'll throw the onion in there too. Let's smash this stuff up really good. This is an old school way of making salsa. It's more work, but it's delicious. It's worth all the work. You gotta do a little bit of banging and a little bit of grinding like that, a little bit of smashing, 
a little bit of dragging till you find the consistency and the paste that you like. Just right almost to a creamy texture. And then we'll go on to the tomatoes. And I do like to cut my tomatoes a little bit. That way they don't squirt all over the place when I get them into the molcajete. You can do more than one if you want. I like to do one at a time. And you do have to go nice and easy with the tomatoes, otherwise they'll squirt tomato juice all over the place. Now the amount of tomatoes and peppers and garlic we're using today takes pretty close to about a teaspoon, maybe a little bit less. So we're gonna go ahead and put some salt in here right now. All righty. Man, that looks good, friends. Looks really good. I'm gonna do one more thing here. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lime. Here's the other half. I'm gonna take my spoon here, work that lime in there. That's the kind of texture I like on my salsa because it kind of sticks together. And when you put your chip in there or the spoon, you get a bunch. Now we're gonna put about half of a head of cilantro in here. For that extra umami. And y'all know, like I always say, each one of these ingredients, it all depends on your personal preference. You can add or take away any of them in any amount that you like. All right, let's drop a little bit of cilantro here. Meld together all the flavors. That looks good now. All right, we wind up not using all the cilantro. I like to have a nice balance. You guys have been following me a while. You know I always say that everything's about balance. So you want to kind of just put as much as you like, but you also want it balanced where all the flavors help each other out. Let's get some tuetano into our salsa. Our tuetano is really nicely cooked. Let's go ahead and drop that in here. This is gonna make the salsa real nice and creamy. We're gonna drop a little bit more of this tuetano in here. Drop that in there. Friends, it's time to do the taste test. We've mixed it all together here. Let's see what it's all about. My mouth's actually watering just thinking about it. <laughs> really, really good. Fantastic. Mm. Man, you get that really great flavor of a fire roasted salsa. The best salsa in the world is a fire roasted salsa, especially when you involve serranos and tomatoes and garlic. But then you add that tuetano in there, that beefy, buttery, creamy flavor in there, and it just takes it to another level. These are hanger steaks. I'm gonna season these up, put them right over the open fire, and we're gonna go to town. All right, let's lay these arracheras right here. Woo-wee! I love to cook with fire. Since I was a little boy, I've been playing with fire. So we're heating up our salsa tuetano too. I'm gonna lower this thing down, get them a little closer to the fire. We want a little bit of that flame kissed action. Pronto, 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 it's hot, hot, hot. Ouch, 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 ouch. We have our arracheras ready to go, but the real star of the show today, ouch, 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 is the salsa tuetano. Let's see how it tastes in a taco with some delicious beef. Yeah, buddy, perfect, perfect, perfect. Got me a little tortilla here, a little bit of arrachera, hanger steak, in other words. Got my napkin ready in case it runs off the side of my mustache. <laughs> Let's put the salsa tuetano on here. Y'all know I like my tacos nice, big, and fat. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Wow. Man, my friend, I gotta say this. The salsa tuetano was amazing. I had a good time making it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Bone marrow is super delicious. It's just like a beefy, beefy butter. Super delicious. It's good on a lot of different recipes. It's especially good in a salsa. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up because I want to finish my taco and then some. If you're sitting in our APC rubs, go to pitmaster.us for the wow of the OG and the brisket rub and keep the smoke light, make it work. Boom! Oh.